Hello. So, yesterday I said um, that I would continue talking about how my mom acted while I was living with her and going to work and how I think she, you know, she tried to micromanage my career, but I think tried to sabotage me at the same time. So I'm going to continue uh, what I was talking about yesterday. So one year they had a bad quarter. And everybody pretty much got like a standard one and a half percent raise, or which is like just what the rate of inflation was. It might have even been less than the rate of inflation, but I basically got no raise. And then I told her about it, and I said, "Well, financially they're really not doing well. There was actually a hiring freeze, so it was true. You know, they, it's not like they gave me some bullshit." But she was trying to say that they did give me some bullshit, and I'm like, "No, ma, it's." they really had a bad quarter, there was a hiring freeze, and I, it's legit. And she's like, well, that's not the real reason. I think they're just taking advantage of you because you're so quiet. Like, could you imagine, like, does that even make any sense that they're screwing with my salary because I'm quote-unquote too quiet? She's like, you know, she's saying it's because that I, I don't have the social skills and the charm to promote myself, and I'm so socially inept, and I can't, I can't speak up, and all that kind of shit. And then she start, started bringing up my coworkers, like, Oh, well, I bet, you know, Adam got a raise because he's such, you know, so much more social than you are. I bet Jill got a raise, you know. you're. I'm sure you're the only one that didn't get it because, you know, you're such a doormat and they no one respects you there. And, like, this, this whole thing, like, to make me feel like complete shit that I didn't get a raise, that it must have been me or because I'm so weak or so incompetent. But there was a legit financial issue and they stopped hiring so even when, even when I told her that she's like well that doesn't mean anything like could you imagine like what a fucking moron well yeah they didn't hire anybody that doesn't mean anything and then she was telling me that they're discriminating against against me and I'm like well based on what she's like well it is sort of a gender issue I'm like well compared to who She's like, well, you're making less than, and, and she's telling me the, these two men that I worked with that I'm, I was making less money than. I'm like, Ma, they're directors. Like, could you imagine? She was telling me to, like, make an issue out of my salary and my lack of a raise, trying to make it into a gender discrimination issue when she's comparing my salary to director's salaries. She's like, well, they're men and they're making more... I, I swear to, like, did she actually think I would take this advice? Because this is, like, the fucking stupidest thing I've ever heard. I mean, if she thinks I'm that stupid, then she's an idiot. Because that, that's just, like, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, I said a lot of things in the last video were the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but I think this, this takes the cake. But another thing she used to do was she would always threaten to call HR. For one reason or another, like, if I had to go in there on the weekend, she's like, you gotta be the only one there, because that's a security issue, and then if something happens, you better believe HR is gonna hear from me, and that time my boss chewed me up and spit me out, she's like, I have half a mind, I'm gonna call Susan, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write Susan a letter, she was the HR director, I'm gonna write Susan a letter, and I'm gonna, she, she would keep threatening to, like, send nasty emails and call HR, and... I don't think she ever did, but this this would be like once a week she would do this. And then another thing she would do was she she would make me late. Um, you know, she was a teacher, so she'd be gone during the school year. But sometimes in the summer she'd be home, or on day vacation days when she was home that I had to go to work. I'd have clothes laid out for the day, and I'd I'd be off eating breakfast or in the bathroom or something. She's like, oh. I see the shirt you have laid out has a wrinkle in it. I'm going to iron it. So she would take the shirt as I'm going to go get dressed or before I can go get dressed, takes it to go iron it. And then I'm standing there waiting for my shirt, like in pants and a bra. I'm like, Ma, this is what she's like. Well, you can't, you can't go to, sh go to work with a wrinkle like that. Then you'll never get promoted. Then you'll never get a raise. People are going to think this about you. People are going to think that about you. Because cause of some imaginary wrinkle I had in my shirt. She did this a lot. This ironing trick. She had this thing about wrinkles and ironing. And she would always make me late. She'd be like, well, you should have noticed it last night. You're so, you're such a space cadet. You didn't even see that. Like, just attacking, just every single angle that she could think to attack me, she did. And... 
Another thing was my hair. She would criticize that daily. She Every day I'd walk towards the door, your hair is up, you need to brush your hair. Let me fix your hair, let me fix your hair because you're not good at it. Let me fix, you can't, you can't leave the house like that. Meanwhile, I have like, my hair would be like, I have like a piece like that. And she'd be like, you can't leave the house like that. Oh my God, I can't believe you think that's normal. You get, and, uh, you know, and a lot of times I'd stand there and I wouldn't say anything, but I remember one day I snapped because one day I was going to leave and she tells me, she's like, oh, wait, stop. You're carrying your purse the wrong way. Think about that for a sec. Like, what does that even mean? Is that even possible? You're carrying your purse the wrong way? I think I had it over my shoulder and a piece of my clothing was stuck in it like oh was like over it or something like that or like between the strap or whatever like and this caused me to snap because it's like okay so she she couldn't find anything to pick on about my clothes she couldn't find anything to pick on about my hair so she has to throw that out there oh you're carrying your purse it's it's like I snapped because it, it just goes to show you how there was no, there was nothing really legitimate that she could criticize me for that day. She just had to throw something out there, even if it made absolutely zero sense. And think about it too, I drive to work. So she, she'd come up to me, fix my purse, then I'm going to get in my car in 10 seconds and put the purse down and then it's all just, and it doesn't, you know, it's all just pointless. So it's like, what, the, what do you even, do? and I said this to her, I'm like, it's like, I'm like, all right, you, know, you need to shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of it. I snapped because just the stupidity of the whole thing with the purse. She's like, oh my God, I'm just trying to help. That's not what I meant. That's not what I'm trying to do. And she's like, oh, you're such a little drama queen. I'm like, excuse me, bitch. You've done this to me for the past two weeks and I've kept my mouth shut. And then she's like, and then she's acting all like, she's like, I didn't mean, you know, but then it's like, she's. She does that for weeks, and I, you know, I stay quiet, and then I say one thing. Oh, you're such a little drama queen. Oh, God, you again? Meanwhile, it's like the first time I've ever said anything. And she did this a lot, too. She'd be walking, whatever the issue was, she'd be walking around the house screaming at something, or she'd start screaming at me, and I'd tell her she was being unreasonable, and then she'd say that I misinterpreted her, and that I'm such a drama queen. So it was always, like... She'd be running around the house like a lunatic, and then the minute I spoke, she screamed. She mocked me for being a drama queen and started screaming at me. So this is this was not an unusual occurrence. So when I eventually resigned from that job, because like I said, I was bullied out, pushed out. Um, a few months later, I got a bullshit email from my former boss, who <coughs> was kind of like a flying monkey to uh, to the lead bitch to Narkzilla. So, initially I wasn't going to respond back, but I did. And I made a video about this. I did respond. And I know they say, like, when the flying monkeys come after you, not to engage them. But I didn't know that then. But I'm glad I did write back because the emails from this guy are actually funny. Because it was just... It was just so skewed and didn't make any sense, and he was just, he was trying to rewrite history, and it was actually, I actually got a good laugh at it if you want to look back at one of my older videos, when the narcissist flying monkeys come crawling back, that's what that was about. So this was the, this asinine email I got from my former boss, but I did end up writing back to him. So I told my mother that he wrote to me, and that, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to email him back today, but I will at some point, and then she's like, well, when you do, I want to read it. Like, Mom, I'm not retarded. I could formulate an email myself and write to the guy. And then she's like, well, I know you're not working there. And this this was the stupidest thing, too, because I wasn't even working there anymore. It wasn't even my boss. She's like, well, I know you're not working in, there anymore, but if you need to use him as a reference in the future, you know, want, you want to present yourself well. and you want So basically, I'm so, I'm so mentally backwards. And so I don't know how to write or present myself and so socially inept that if I were left to my own devices to write this email, it would be so bad that even months or years down the road, if I contacted him for a reference, he'd remember how bad my email was. That, that's how, that is how incompetent I am. So I told her to fuck off. I'm like, no, it's none of your business. Um, 
Um, no offense, Ma, but I think I got better grades than you in English, and my SAT verbal was probably higher. I mean, she's an English teacher, but still, I think, like, my scores were higher than hers anyway, even though my math was even higher, but she, and then she's acting like I can't string two words together, and then she's acting all this, and she's like, well, I figured that since you told me about the email that I'm in the loop now, and I, sh and that I'd be able to see what you write. So just because I tell her that he emailed me, now she's like, now she's in, she's like, I thought I was in the loop because you told me about it. Like, does this woman have any life at all? Like, I tell her someone emails me, I'm getting an email about, now she wants to see the entire interaction? I mean, talk about, this woman needs to get a fucking, like, go on a dating website for Christ's sake. I mean, this is just beyond pathetic. But... That's, that was the rest of what I was going to talk about regarding uh, how she, I think, how she almost got me fired or tried to sabotage my career and micromanage everything I did. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you on the next video.